hello friends uh, today we will show you how you can solve the problems involve uh, case of rotation about z axis and rotation about x axis mean both rotation cases so before that uh, in last lecture we already discuss how you can solve the problems related to translation transformation as well as uh, single case in rotation transformation the approach used in the previous uh, lecture uh, become quite when a, man, uh, when a manipulator with many joints must be analyzed another more general method for solving kinematic equation of the robotarm makes the homogeneous transformation uh, so we described the uh, this technique in uh, all, already section or previous session uh, assuming the uh, at least some fab familiar uh, mathematic equations and matrices so a vector of the uh, equation or a vector form can be used to define end of arm position for the robot manipulator so uh, this problem uh, example number three so example number three rotate the vector v is equal to 3i plus 2j plus 7k by an angle 60 degree about the z axis of the reference frame it is then rotated by 30 degree about x axis of the reference frame find out the rotation transformation so this is the problem statement and uh, you have to find out uh, rotation or rotation transformation about the reference frame so uh, what are the different parameters or given parameters involving a numerical or this example so vector v is given v is equal to 3i plus 2j plus uh, 7k and then first angular inclination uh, about z axis means uh, rotation about z axis at an angle 60 degree then rotation about x axis at an angle 30 degree so in this case of uh, or in this case of rotation uh, you have to assume or uh, you have to remember both formulas related to rotation about x axis at an angle theta or rotation about z axis at an angle theta so what is your first objective or first finding so first of all uh, you have to write given data we know that uh, the given data so given data v is equal to 3i plus 2j plus 7k then uh, theta 1 so first rotation angle theta 1 is equal to 60 degree theta 2 is equal to uh, theta 1 is equal to 60 degree theta 2 is equal to 30 degree then uh, what is your objective to find out rotation about z axis at an angle theta and so rotation about z axis at an angle 60 degree this is the first finding and second finding rotation about x axis at an angle theta okay means uh, rotation about x axis at an angle 30 degree so uh, we know that the equation or in that solution the rotation transformation is given by so you have to remember both formula related to rotation so first formula rotation about z axis at an angle theta means first rotation angle is given 60 degree about z axis so we know that formula for rotation about z axis so this is the first rotation equation or rotation transformation h1 is equal to rz rz z comma 60 means rotation about z axis at an angle 60 degree so this is the uh, rotation matrix okay or rotation transformation about x about z axis so uh, rotation about z axis at an angle theta is equal to cos theta minus sin theta 0 0 sin theta cos theta 0 0 0 0 1 0 and 0 0 0 1 so uh, you can directly put all given values in particularly this matrix and find out new matrix so uh, theta 1 or for h1 or for first homogeneous rotation put theta is equal to 60 degree so cos 60 minus sin 60 0 0 sin 60 cos 60 0 0 0 0 1 0 and 0 0 0 1 so we know that values of cos 60 and sin 60 put the values of cos 60 and sin 60 in next matrix and find out new matrix so 0.5 u 
cos 60 is 0.5 and sin 60 is the 0 0.8 so 0 0.5 minus 0 0.8 0 0 0.8 0 0.5 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 and 0 0 0 1 this is the first equation means rotation about z axis at an angle theta then find out another rotation means second rotation rotation about x axis at an angle 30 degree so second homogeneous rotation formula rotation about x axis at an angle 30 degree so we know that uh, rotation matrix about x axis so 1 0 0 0 0 cos theta minus sin theta 0 0 sin theta cos theta 0 and 0 0 0 1 so put in uh, in second case or second theta or second angular inclination theta to is equal to 30 degree so instead of uh, theta you have to uh, put theta is equal to 30 degree so uh, another matrix is 1 0 0 0 then 0 cos theta minus sin theta 0 0 sin theta cos theta 0 and 0 0 0 1 so put uh, or we know that value of cos theta cos theta is equal to 0.5 and sin theta is 0.8 so uh, put both values and find out new matrix 1 0 0 0 0 0.5 minus 0.8 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 so another next uh, you have to find out rotation transformation means uh, this is the first rotation angle homogeneous rotation and second homogeneous rotation so combine both rotations and make one rotation transformation so rotation transformation of frame so you have to use uh, this equation h2 into h1 so h2 is the second rotation and h1 is the first rotation the second rotation into first rotation will use rotation transformation of frame so this is the value of h2 and second rotation and this is the value of h1 so multiplication of both matrices will give final answer so in case of matrix multiplication we assume rows into columns okay rows into columns means for first or first plus uh, for first place first row into first column means element of first row into element of first column plus element of second row into element of second column plus element of third row into element of third column plus element of fourth row into element of fourth column so uh, by using this uh, relationship you can directly find out answer so for first case first into first means 1 into 0 0.5 0 0.5 then 0 into 0.8 0 then 0 into 0 0 then 0 into 0 0 means 0 0.5 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 means final answer is 0 0.5 similarly uh, you have to find out another answer means second row into first column for second place means 0 into 0 0.5 0 0 then 0 0.5 into 0 0.8 plus or uh, minus 0 0.8 into 0 or 0 into 0 so this is the second place then third row for third row third row into first column means 0 into 0 0.5 0 0.8 into 0 0.8 plus 0 0.5 into 0 or 0 into 0 this is the third place and last uh, or last case fourth row into first column so answer is 0 so by using this technique you can solve rotation transformation or uh, uh, multi matrix multiplication of both matrices the next this is the final answer of h2 into h1 means both rotation first rotation and second rotation 0 0.5 minus 0 0.8 0 0 0 0.5 0 0.25 minus 0 0.8 0 0 0.64 0 0.4 0 0.5 0 0 0 0 1 uh, so this is the final rotation or final position rotation position then uh, next step the rotation vector type equation here means uh, you have to find out rotation vector means rotation angle into vector v so in that previous lecture we already uh, know that how you can find out vector or is in the form of uh, xi plus yz plus zk so so what is the next step to find out vector v so a vector v is given 3i plus 2j plus 7k 
so this equation of 3i plus uh, 2j plus 7k you can write in matrix form means 3i plus 2j plus 7k 3 2 7 and 1 is the homogeneous parameter so this is the matrix of our vector matrix so multiplication of both matrices gives final answer or final robot base frame rotation so the rotation vector type equation here would be hv or homogeneous vector is equal to uh, this matrix or h2 into h h1 matrix into vector v okay so this is the final answer 0 0.5 minus 0 0.8 0 0 then uh, 0 0.4 0 0.25 minus 0 0.8 0 0 0.64 0 0.4 0 0.50 0 0 0 0 1 okay and this is the vector v 3i plus 2j plus 7k 1 so multiplication of both matrices gives final answer so for first position first row into first column is rows into columns this element of first row into element of first column 0.5 into 0.3 uh, plus or minus 0 0.8 into 2 0 into 7 plus 0 into 1 this is the final answer for second position second row into first column 0 0.4 into 3 0.25 into 2 minus 0.8 into 7 0 into 1 this is the another position then for third position third row into third column so 0 0.64 into 3 0 0.4 into 2 plus 0 0.5 into 7 plus 0 into 1 this is the third position and last 0 into 3 0 into 2 0 into 7 and 1 into 1 that's by 1 so final answer is minus 0 0.1 minus 3.9 6.22 and 1 this is the final angular rotation or the rotation vector of a robot frame means h is equal to h2 into h1 into phi so by using uh, this type of matrix multiplication you can easily find out robot reference frame rotation means uh, when uh, Two rotations are given means rotation about x axis at an angle theta or rotation about y axis at an angle theta or rotation about z axis okay so in this type uh, two rotations are given and you can easily find out final rotation vector by using this type of methods so final answer is means a rotation vector type v is equal to minus 0 0.1 minus 3.9 plus 6.22 and 1 so by using and this type of method you can easily find out the ro uh, reference frame or rotation transformation about ro robot reference frame so this is the simply method to solve such type of problem is problem involving Two rotation case rotation about a z axis rotation about x axis or rotation about x axis and rotation about y axis or rotation about y axis into rotation about z axis so this is the simply method used to solve such type of problems means both cases theta 1 and theta 2 okay or uh, uh, rotation about z axis at an angle theta or rotation about x axis at an angle theta both angle or both thetas are given so you can directly find out rotation transformation or rotation about z axis at an angle theta or rotation about x axis at an angle theta